so I wanted to, we're approaching Thanksgiving right now, and um, I wanted to share a little bit about the importance of this holiday, this event, because there's a story in the Bible where Jesus, he multiplied bread. He was facing a large crowd of people and he did not have mm -hmm. what it takes to feed them. And they brought him to five loaves and two fish. He took them up and the Bible says that he blessed them. He gave thanks for the little that he had. You know, it's, it really inspires me that Jesus didn't complain. Jesus did not say, why did you God not provide enough? And Jesus did not even ask for more bread or fish. He just thanked God for what he had. And I believe it's such a powerful principle mm -hmm. not to compare yourself with what other people have and not to complain about what you don't have, but find that little that you do have and give thanks. Yeah, it's uh, giving thanks is very important. It will bring satisfaction into your life. Mm -hmm. But if you want to see multiplication, we see that Jesus, before the bread and the fish multiplied, he gave it away mm -hmm. and then it multiplied. Mm -hmm. So if we give away, if we're thankful for what we have, but if we want to see uh, stuff multiply, finances, joy, peace, whatever you are in need of, we have to share that and give it away. Serve with your talents, uh, so financially, and you will see how God will come through and multiply even the little which you have. We we know that there's this thing that people usually think that, oh, if I don't have enough to share with others, but before stuff multiplies, we have to learn how to share with the little that we have. Mm -hmm. That's good, that's good. Mm -hmm. So Thanksgiving, <laughs> it it protects our heart. But mm -hmm. after Thanksgiving, you know, it redirects our focus and our perspective. But if we don't learn to be generous and to give the little that we are thankful for and learn to work with it by serving with the time that we have, by loving with what we have, with the skills, with the talents, then we're only going to be thankful and happy and content, mm -hmm. but we're not going to multiply. Mm -hmm. So the secret to multiplication is that don't complain or compare, but compliment God for what He has given you. Yeah, yeah. And then the little that you have, begin to give. Yeah, it's because it, it, it's easy to think and say that, well, when, when I'm going to have a lot, a lot of money or a lot of whatever, then I'm going to be giving. But it's actually a deception because mm -hmm. if we are not able to give and share with the little stuff that we have, uh, there there's no way we can give when we have more. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of stories in our church of people who, who gave their clothes, who gave their time, who gave, uh, I know one time the Lord let you to give all of your birthday gifts away. <laughs> that was funny, but yeah. <laughs> uh, for the growth of your home group and... But uh, yeah, that was just my personal thing. Giving changes us. Yeah. And it sets us up for multiplication. And so Thanksgiving is, is giving God thanks, but it has to lead to you living a generous life. Mm -hmm. It has to lead to you living a life that serves others, loves others, and only there you unlock the multiplication uh, for your life. Otherwise, if you're just thankful, that's 50% that's, that's of breakthrough right there. But if you're not generous and if you're not giving, then that breakthrough um, is, is going to be held limited. back, mm -hmm. is limited. It's not fullness of what God wants mm -hmm. for every one of us. Let's just pray for those people right now who are maybe discouraged right now, who are maybe begging God for more, but they're not thankful for what they have and they're not working that little that they have. You know, prophet, uh, one prophet told a woman who had a lot of debt, uh, he told her, he said that, what is in your house? She says, I have a little bit of oil, a little bit. That's, just, just, that's not enough, a prophet. And he says, that that you have in your house is going to be enough mm -hmm. after God touches it. Because see, one touch of God's favor will do more than years of labor. And then that's she started good. to work that oil. And that oil, what it did is it filled the jars but her problem wasn't solved until she gave it away. Yeah. Until yeah. she sold it on the market mm -hmm. and stuff. So uh, Thanksgiving, appreciating what you have is such a key. But to really see the turnaround, you got to give it away. You got to serve. Let you got to go. love. Mm -hmm. You got to let it go. Mm -hmm. uh, could we just pray for those people right now who may be facing um, during this Thanksgiving, they're struggling financially. Maybe they're struggling in their health. Maybe they're struggling in their ministry. For the Lord to help to refocus their... Uh, perspective 
and give him the the heart of generosity. Yes. Could you start the prayer and then I will. Mm -hmm. uh, Father God, we just pray for every single mm -hmm. person who's watching this or will be re-watching. We yes, ask Lord. you that you will just uh, open up their eyes and enlarge their hearts yes, for giving God. First of all, to be thankful for what they have, to receive that joy and satisfaction from being thankful. And then to just yes, let Lord. it go and help others and just share with what, what they have. In Jesus' name, Lord, I pray for your grace. In Jesus' name. Lord, we just pray for those people who are going through a very difficult time right now. I pray, Lord, for those who are struggling in their finances, who can't make ends meet. I pray for those who are right now, maybe their ministry is holding on by a thread, their business maybe is struggling, yes. their marriage. Lord, give them the grace to only focus on what you are doing and not to obsess with things that are not happening right now. Help them to take those five loaves and to fish and to give thanks. Not to complain, not to even ask for more, but first to give thanks. And I pray, teach them to be servants. Teach them to be generous. Teach them to be giving. And as they do that, let your grace bring multiplication. I speak multiplication into your family. I speak multiplication into your finances. I speak multiplication into your marriage. I speak multiplication into your um, every area of your life. In Jesus' name, amen.